Hey, what's up, YouTube? I wanted to make a video. Um, I just made a podcast, but I wanted to make a video um, talking about a few different things, talking about overcoming. You know, Jesus said that those who um, put their faith in Jesus, they overcome the world. But it seems to also um, that in Revelations chapter two and three, um, we are called to overcome in a different way because and you can check out the podcast. It will probably go into more detail um, than what this video does. But uh, basically, you know, in Revelation chapter two and three, um, Jesus is talking about how um, we should overcome. Um, some translations say overcome sin or those who are victorious over sin. Um, but also. Um, he seems to be talking about a different type of overcoming other than just overcoming the world because um, he's talking to the church and so in the church um, we're believers right the church is filled with believers and so we've already overcome the world but um, you know Jesus is calling us to overcome just uh, you know um to overcome just uh, different things. Uh, he talked about how uh, we need to overcome sexual sin. Um, we need to overcome <clears throat> um, uh, he, he talked about overcoming uh, uh, what else was it? Uh, idols. Um, and that could be a little bit different, but he talked about uh, food sacrifice to idols. Um, Jesus talked about how uh, there was a lukewarm church and uh, he was just ready to be done with them because uh, they were uh, you know not on fire for God or they weren't cold or hot they were just like lukewarm water and you know how many of us want to drink lukewarm water um, we, we don't really want to drink lukewarm water. And so, um, I just wanted to make a video talking about what we need to overcome. Um, you know, I believe that we all go up in the rapture as believers because Jesus said in the scriptures, um, uh, through the apostle Paul, he said, Hey, why do you, uh, show contempt for your brother or why do you judge your brother for we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ and so clearly we could be saying there's something wrong that our brother in Christ is doing but Jesus is saying that we will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ and so I believe that you know um, we all go up as Christians as believers you know, and I think those that are left behind are those that, you know, haven't come to Christ yet or are unbelievers uh, awaiting God's wrath. And so um, how I think we overcome sin, I believe it's also kind of an automatic thing when you continue in your faith in Christ. Um, I think the scriptures point to God working in us to cause us to walk in his ways like it says in Ezekiel but I believe that there are efforts that we need to do you know Jesus said strive to enter through the narrow gate and so clearly there is some sort of effort that we're putting into walking with Jesus but like I said I believe it's also a work of God you know I've heard a minister say that that I agree with is that you know, Jesus said in scriptures, I think he brought up in Philippians how um, it's God who is working in us. Uh, Paul was talking about how he entrusted his work to God, that he will bring it to completion. And so, um, you know, I believe that, uh, you know, when we put our faith in Jesus, that it is a work of the Holy Spirit. It is a work of God that he's moving in our life. But, you know, um, 
I wanted to break it down in that, you know, what does striving to enter look like? Well, first off, we are saved. You know, uh, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you know, John wrote in the book of first John that he wrote these things so that you may know that you have eternal life to those who believe in the name of the son of God. And so our salvation is complete. You know, we have eternal life. Um, that's that's complete. Um, it can kind of sound weird, when, especially if you're reading in Revelation where Jesus is like, I will give you the crown of life. Well, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to give you eternal life. Um, people tend to believe, scholars tend to believe that it's more of just a physical crown. Uh, to me, it sounds like he's also saying that he'll give us life, but we know that scripture says elsewhere that we already have eternal life. Why would John say if you believe you, you know, whoever has the son has life. And so, um, you know, coming from a standpoint of overcoming, I believe it's from the work of the Holy Spirit that is within us. But I believe that there are believers out there that don't have the Holy Spirit. Um, they, you receive the Holy Spirit through believing, you know, but also in the book of Acts, it talks about when you were baptized, you were baptized to receive the Holy Spirit. That's why um, Paul asked, in the book of Acts, hey, have you guys, you know, received the Holy Spirit? And they said, we haven't even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And so they believed in Jesus, but they didn't receive the Holy Spirit. And so I believe it's kind of like the parable of the five wise virgins and the five foolish virgins. You know, scholars tend to believe that the oil is the Holy Spirit. And so I believe that the foolish virgins, they didn't have the Holy Spirit. They just believed. And so their light was going out because they were just calling themselves Christians, but they didn't have God working in them to cause you to walk in your, his ways. And so um, from the standpoint of kind of like it's an automatic thing to overcome, I believe that's true. But also, I believe that we have to put in our efforts you know, we are saved unto good works. Um, work out your salvation with fear and trembling is another Bible verse that comes to mind. Um, but James wrote, faith without works is dead. And so um, I believe that there is works or efforts that we need to put into overcoming sin. And um, I believe that's done through just our effort you know oh i'm going to close the laptop because i went to a bad website or you know another example would be you know you say oh i'm i'm going to say sorry for the 50th time because you know i did something wrong i'm going to confess my sin you know because i did something wrong for the 10th time or something or you know you're just working to not lie, not steal, you know, not envy someone, you know, the sins that are mentioned in first Corinthians chapter six or Galatians chapter five, verse 19, we are working to be presented perfect, but also God is working in us. And so, um, I believe at the rapture, hey, we all go up, but, you know, we ha we have eternal life, but I believe there's a level of worthiness that we need to reach where Jesus said, pray that you can escape all that will happen and to be counted worthy to stand before the son of man. And so um, as a combination of all these different things, you know, um, 
my podcast kind of goes through more details about what I mean. Um, it should be uploaded by now, but um, maybe this video will upload probably a little bit after the other one, the podcast already uploaded. Um, so, you know, if you want to find more details about kind of what I mean, more explanation. But, you know, a lot of my videos kind of have been about this same topic. So um, you should have a good understanding about it. But, you know, I was going through Revelation chapter two and three and. You know, I was noticing how Jesus was saying, hey, I know your works. You know, I know the things that you do. You're in. And this is a paraphrase. But he was saying kind of like, hey, you're doing good, you know, but I still have this against you. Or, you know, I, I haven't found your works perfect before God. Or, you know, I haven't you haven't met the requirements of my God. And so, you know, clearly Jesus is saying how, you know, we need to still meet the standard of Christianity of what it means to follow Jesus. And so I think, you know, hey, don't use this time that we have to just waste your life, you know, and it doesn't mean that you are super famous or, you know, you're just super successful in in the way the standards of the world. But I think wasting your life could mean you're not trying to overcome sin you know um you're practicing sin um you're you're not taking god seriously or just you know things that um you know you're not walking in the spirit and i've like i said in my podcast you know i've noticed you know jesus said how make sure that the light within you is not darkness and I've noticed how, you know, sometimes the way that I'm living my Christian life is not fully Christian. And so I've had to say, you know, judge myself and say, you know, what am I getting wrong here? You know, and um, how can I change? And so anyway, that's pretty much this video because I made a longer podcast on this. And so hopefully this video was helpful to someone. Um, check out that podcast if you're interested. Um, I know it's probably sometimes better to look at someone rather than just listen. But um, thanks so much for checking out this video. And I will talk to you on the next video. My voice is kind of uh, out because, you know, I made that long podcast. So uh, thanks so much for checking out this video and see you next time.